Hey guys, welcome back to Church at Home. Okay, listen, I have the best idea. We're gonna play a prank on Willie together, so shh, don't tell him, okay? But tune in and watch and see what happens. Willie, I think I finally know how we can be less bored in the house in the house board. I don't want to sing that song. You yelled at me last week. Okay, Just okay. show me what you have here. Okay, so I have some baking soda okay. right here. Yeah. And then you have to add in... You know, why don't you add it in? Really? Yeah! Actually, you're being extremely nice I today. I know, right? Okay, I'm going to try it. Okay. That... Nothing happened! Your what? experiment... You know what? If you want to learn how to do experiments, you should learn from me. I did a cool one last week. But this was supposed to work. I'll show you. You have the wrong ingredients. How? Let me show you how to do it. So we're going to have another cup here. Okay. Then you have baking soda, but you have to have vinegar. Okay. So you do this here. You put mm -hmm. the baking soda in, and then you put the vinegar in. That's how it works. Uh, <laughs> you know what this reminds me of? What? Bitterness. Okay, how did you get bitterness out of all that? All right, give me a minute, I'm gonna explain. Okay, talk to me. So people make us mad, they mm -hmm. hurt us, they say mean things to us, mm -hmm. and we hold it on the inside, okay. and we don't forgive them. That is called bitterness. And a lot of times, we hold it inside, and we think it's gonna hurt the other person that hurt us, but it's actually hurting us, because bitterness hurts you. So what you're saying is, is it's like when you're trying to be mad at someone else, be bitter at them, you want it to hurt the other person. But it's not going to hurt the other person. Because the truth happens. is, when you hold unforgiveness, when you hold that anger in, let me show you, bitterness hurts you. And it actually hurts some of the people around you that you love. But it doesn't hurt the, that other person. No, it only hurts you. You know, the Bible even says in Ephesians 4.31 that you have to get rid of all bitterness. See, God, he doesn't want you to hold on to all of that bitterness because he wants you to be free. He doesn't want you to have to deal with that hurt, with that anger. So you got to learn to give it to him. You know, the only key to actually get rid of all of that bitterness is when you actually choose to forgive. You can go to someone and talk to them about right. it, too. There are probably people that you know that can help you through it. You know what I like to do? I like to open my journal and I write to write my thoughts down. And I give it to Jesus, because Jesus is the only one that can really help us with that bitterness. And I want you to remember that this week, mm -hmm. that bitterness only hurts you. You are the one who knows my need. Before that call And in the storm You are with me I'm not alone The God above Who wants to be Within my heart words I can't explain how great you are come on raise your hands with me there is none like you none like you the faithful one Jesus there is none like you none like you Sing all together, everlasting, everlasting, everlasting. Name above all, Jesus, you are the everlasting, everlasting. You are. Sing it with me. There is none. There is none like you. You 
you know, I was thinking about it, and we are going to have those moments where our hearts are filled with hurt, with anger and unforgiveness, but it's in those moments we need to open our hearts to Jesus and let him come in and deal with those things so that we're not hurt on the inside, so it doesn't hurt us, because we said it, bitterness only hurts you. It only hurts me when we don't forgive. So this week, I want you to remember that. If there's bitterness in your heart, you need to open your heart to Jesus and let him come in and deal with that. And I want to pray with you. So I want you to bow your heads and close your eyes. God, help us. If we have anger, if we have hurt, if we have all that bitterness inside of us, help us this week to open our hearts to you and let you come in so that you can help us to forgive and deal with all that bitterness inside. In Jesus' name, amen. It was amazing being with you guys. We love when you come to church at home. But this week, you got to stay tuned onto our YouTube channel and make sure you tell others about it. We love you and we'll see you next week at church at home.